so nervous and I literally all I had to do was lie on the floor. It was like that moment of meeting everyone, you can never remember anyone's names. Um, it's, I probably don't even remember everyone's names now when I've been here seven years. It was a good, good entrance, it was a nice entrance, even though it hurt. It didn't, they didn't really hit me. But. My favourite relationship has to be getting married to Kim. We've come here today to celebrate the love between Esther and Kim. Together through the darkest hours, through the wild adventures, and the nights on the sofa binge watching and getting fat. I think that was a historical moment in Hollyoaks. It was the first lesbian wedding in Hollyoaks, so that was amazing that I got the chance to do that. You may now kiss. I think that was my favourite relationship. I loved Tilly as well. That's like throwing it right back to Abbasock days. You're happy, right? I made you happy. Then don't regret this. It's been magic. If I could film another scene again, it would be the party scenes that we did in Abbasock the first year we went. It was just unreal. And it was one of those moments where you sit there and go, this is my life, this is epic. It was blazing hot and we had freak weather, but it was like the original gang, like your Bart, your Sinead, Tilly, uh, Ruby. It was just the best. And I think all of us, when we were filming that week, were just like, this is insane that this is our jobs. How lucky are we? <laughs> I'm most proud 100 million percent of the bullying storyline that we did a few years back. I mean it was ages ago but it's something that's kind of stuck with me for a long time. Um, the whole suicide attempt. <sighs> Esther! Esther, you frightened me. Sorry. Just start for a nice walk. It's a lovely evening. Are you here on your own? Not for much longer. Okay. Well, I'll see you at college tomorrow. A bit ago, the Channel 4 website put on their best episodes or something for the, like, the last 20 years of Hollyoaks. And that was on there, and that was a really, a really proud moment for me that that, was, that had made it onto there. I loved doing that stuff. As much as it was really sad, it was really challenging and good to film. Sweet dreams, Frankie. I love you so much. <laughs> and I just wish you'd been here to hear me say it. I love you, Frankie. I think who Esther would miss most is already gone. I think Esther misses Frankie the most, and I think that's why she's, she's made this decision that she needs to go off to Spain to live a different life. So I think the person that Esther would miss most has already left the building. What's with all the suitcases? Esther's moving to Spain. Good riddance. What? When? This evening. I'm going to help Ruby run the bar in Spain. It's all a bit sudden, isn't it? I've been thinking about it for ages. And right now seems like the perfect time to go. And what about Oscar and Charlie? You don't give two hits about anybody! Of course I do! And if we're talking about being selfish, how about you trying to cover up the fact that Darcy poisoned me? I didn't want to upset you! All right, stop it, the pair of you. Jack made a mistake, but you can't keep punishing him for it. Your family. Not as far as I'm concerned. Bon voyage. Look, guys, can't leave it like this, OK? Watch me. I don't care if I never see her again. I think I'll actually really miss it. Oh. <laughs>